Hola. Skunko. Are you in there? Yeah, um, I guess that's good. Hello outlaws and hello campers. Uh, it's Jack. Um, I'm just coming to you from the backyard today. Um, we've had some, uh, we've had some weather since my last video. It's been uh, raining, uh, snowing. Uh, we had some snow this morning. You know, it obviously didn't stick. Had some rain. And, um, you know, just in the interest of uh, getting back here to uh, Outlaw Camp and doing some camping, I thought I'd come back here and just sort of, you know, check out, see where shit was wet and damp and stuff. And obviously the wind's been blowing long enough that nothing is really wet. So it's really, you know, coming out here right now. Not really helping me, um, you know, plan and figure out where I want to put things. But this is the thing. I came out here and I saw this. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Now, um, long time viewers, all my fans, all my subscribers, people that have been with me since the beginning, will remember that over here in this area was the uh, Can Graveyard, which... I never cleaned up. Uh, my buddy Dave cleaned it up. Uh, you know, lurker on the threshold. Uh, thank you again, Dave. Um, however, when um, King Graveyard was over here, and I was plagued by uh, woodland creatures, you know, uh, we had skunks, uh, woodchucks. Woodchucks seem to be the big thing. You know, gophers, I don't know what they are. Pretty much it, it was, you know, pretty much it was a giant slore and um what these things did was they got over here into my uh you know dirt pile that you know someday i'll do something with and they were digging holes much like this hole down here yeah um so what i did and yeah definitely this was something that i should not have done but when i had all the cans and you know the glass and everything back here and i had all these holes like this one i just threw cans bottles you know garbage in the holes and threw dirt on them filled them up you know to try and deter the uh, woodland creatures um okay you know not something i should have done but it turns out that um it kind of worked as a sort of a early warning device because whatever dug this hole that crawled out here in the last couple days since I was camping out here in my hammock camp. Uh, went down in there, and as it was digging, man, it threw out uh, these cans uh, and this bottle, uh, this piece of broken glass down here, you know, which I gotta clean up. And I will clean it all up. But yeah, so there's something down there, and you know, I wanna get out here and I wanna go camping. I, I got to do something about this. Uh, man. Um, see, here you can tell over here on the other side of the hill, I had another hole. Um, let's see. I don't even know what it looks like. Okay, yeah, nothing's fucking with this hole. But, yeah, this was another hole I had that I filled in. Um, you know, just really, uh, it's really not cool. Another thing I should mention, um, Anybody who watched my last video, uh, the last two, the spring hammock camp, you guys will remember that I was um, plagued by the skunk, um, or a skunk. I haven't really seen much evidence of it around, although I don't know what's living in that hole. Now, yesterday, um, when I came outside, I was just kind of hanging up on the porch, and I saw the, the giant swore. Um, you know, hanging out. It came running from over here. It was messing around over by the neighbor's shed and stuff. I'm really hoping that hole is like a groundhog hole. Um, because I filled up, you know, the skunk hole from the last video. Um, yeah, I made sure there's nothing in there. Uh, filled it up, put some cinder blocks and stuff over it. But, uh, something's in there. Uh, it could be the skunk. 
could be the giant slur. Um, I don't know. See, now I'm, you know, all like, is there something around here or not? But, um, pretty much, you know, I, uh, I got an idea for this. Now, uh, one of the things that I like, uh, beverages, you know, other than, you know, my beer and, you know, my bourbon and my rum and, uh, the occasional Bloody Mary and gin and tonic and stuff. Uh, I love lemonade. I'm a huge fan of lemonade and lemonade is one of those things that if you make it yourself, it's so much better than, you know, buying like country time or, you know, even like uh, Stewart's lemonade, which is actually pretty good. So um, this is kind of like a twofold purpose. Um, I got here a bag of uh, lemon peels. I made some lemonade today. I'll show that to you guys. And because I actually want to try it out, I ain't tried it out yet. But um, one thing I know that has actually worked for me in the past uh, with skunks, like skunk deterrent, um, and this is a great deal in the past, is um, you know citrus, lemon uh, peels, orange peels, and stuff. Apparently, skunks are not big fans of uh, you know citrus. And the smell so luckily um you know i was gonna make lemonade anyway but wanting to do it and you know with this mess so i got me a bag of uh lemon peels uh over here from that lemonade i just made uh, i'm thinking i'm just gonna toss them down in that hole and um i'm gonna scatter some around here and see if hopefully that'll be you know just enough of a deterrent um you know, I don't, I don't want to kill the skunk, um, really. I mean, I don't want to shoot, you know, kill anything, whatever that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to eat. And I'm sure you could eat skunk, but um, that's not, that's not something I'm going to do. But yeah, and you know, the same thing with the giant slur, you know, groundhog, woodchuck, gopher, whatever you want to call it. I keep looking around because I, I know it's lurking around here someplace. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to eat that thing. I just want it to pretty much stay away from me and outlaw camp and my dogs and just go, you know, fucking bother somebody else. Uh, so that's why I'm going to go with the uh, deterrent route. So uh, first things first here. Yeah. Oh, man, there's a bunch of cans and stuff down there. I can see. Uh, maybe I can show you guys. Uh, maybe you can see down there. Yeah, it's old mostly Canadian can some garbage. There's like a Coors Light bottle Yeah um, You know, I should really you know be embarrassed about uh, This but you know I'm me man. I'm not embarrassed uh, I really I'm really hoping there's nothing down there. I mean, I guess if it is it'll probably uh, you know, just I mean It'll come out and attack me, or uh, it'll dig its way out the other way. But let's see. Yeah, it goes outlaw camp. Um, I mean, if you're gonna kill, you might as well overkill, right? Safety was on. Eh, you know. All right, um, I guess it's okay to throw some lemon peels in there. Uh, eh, well, that one could stay down there. That one could stay over there. That's probably good for right now. Um, as much as I really want to just toss these, uh, bottles and cans back in there I'm not gonna do that I'm actually gonna pick them up uh, let's go scatter the rest of these around okay so uh, over here ah yeah see I can see uh, I had this filled in uh, down here you know with the cinder block and stuff and something tried to get back in there obviously it was unsuccessful now I know that there's like you know um, skunk deterrent and stuff that you can get 
uh, you know, chemicals, things like that you can buy. But, um, you know, I got to do the research, find out what's safe for the dogs and what's not. Um, yeah, I'm like fucking Johnny Lemon Seed over here or something. I don't know, you know, we'll see if this works. It might, it might not. Uh, yeah. Let's go target up. Uh, Cowboy Day is coming up soon. Cowboy Day. Uh, World War II Day. Yeah, let's see. You know. It's a good thing I like lemonade because I'm going to have to make some more. And this stuff, you know, compost, biodegrade, whatever. Oh, man, alive. I guess I'm going to need more. I'm going to need a lot more. You know what? Yeah, that one that just got it kind of hung up on the fence there. That'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, this, you know, now my hands are covered in you know, lemon, lemon juice, pulp and stuff. But, you know, lucky for me, um, I still haven't cleaned up really from my last camping trip. Oh, yeah. So this will be all right for my purposes. Hope that fucking thing is gone, man. So, um, I don't know, man. We'll see how the uh, lemon peels, rinds, whatever. We'll see how those work out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, right now, it's um, it's 43 degrees. So, it's pretty cold. I mean, last video, you know, it's in the 80s. You know, I, in the beating sun, I almost got out into the 90s. And, um, you know... So what are you going to do, man? It's spring in central New York. But um, there's definitely going to be some more camping. Um, you know, I really don't know what I got coming up. Um, you know, um, yeah, uh, Outlaw Kitchen. Uh, got some, uh, got a good Outlaw Kitchen coming up. Let me tell you about that, man. That one's going to be good. Uh, definitely going to be doing some camping. Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, it, it's cold out here right now. Uh, we got more snow coming in. You know, April's a weird month, but it's a good month to camp because when it's hot, there's no bugs. When it's cold, it's uh, above zero. So I'll take it. But yeah, all right, guys, um, girls, anybody who's watching, um, don't worry, I'll be getting back to Outlaw Camp. Uh, I just can't believe how dry it actually really is um, after all the rain we've had, you know, rain and the snow and stuff. But, <clears throat> hey man, uh, it's got a lot more coming up. So, um, you know, I hope you guys yeah, <laughs> sat through this as ridiculous as it was. It's just a little, you know, update on uh, the skunk woodland creature uh, situation. Uh, it's going to be going on, you know, all spring, all summer. So it should be pretty entertaining. I'm just going to uh, head inside here. Um, probably going to, you know finish off the co2 tank in the uh, 1911 why not but hey um all you guys that you know sat through this thank you i appreciate it um my subscribers subscriber counts going up i mean i'm close to 160 and that's amazing so uh if you're not a subscriber subscribe um you know check out all my other stuff uh consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it uh everybody who is a subscriber thank you very much uh, don't forget when I hit 250 subscribers, I've got that uh, Survival Hawk, uh, Tomahawk, SOG Tomahawk. I'm giving away. That's still going to happen. Uh, I'm going to have another giveaway coming up, too. Oh, oh man. <coughs> That's definitely going to be edited out. But, yeah, man. Um, so pretty much that's it um you know outlaw camp just a quick update uh thanks for checking it out uh tell your friends tell your enemies you want to see more ridiculous stuff and some stuff that's even really not that ridiculous 
uh, make sure you check me out. Um, you know, Outlaw Camp, expatriates are always welcome. There's always cold beer and there's never ever any extradition. So I'm gonna get inside now uh, with this jug of lemonade that I did make and has been chilling out here. And um, you know, uh, yeah, dogs are going nuts here. Look at these guys. See them jumping? Yeah, they want some action. All right, I will see all of you guys in the next Outlaw Camp Misadventure. Thanks again.